Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I post on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. And it is Christmas in July, so we have another Christmas project for you. And I am actually recreating a project I did a few years ago. It was a fry box with no dies. I'll link it in the description. Always check the description. There's a lot of information there. I post everything where you can contact me. I post also like links to the products I use, some of the products I use here, even my paper files that I use, my paper storage, um, the scan and cut that I have. I post a lot of things there. So check the description always. If you don't know where the description is, it is that little arrow far to the right of this, the title and it, it's pointing down. You just press on that and that's where the description is. I've had several people ask me, where do I find the description? So that is where you find it. And this is the little box that I'm sharing. Isn't it cute? I am actually changing it because we don't carry the ovals anymore. But if you still have like layering ovals, um, I'll link that, like I said, in the description. And you can do it that way if you don't have the basic borders because I'm using the basic borders on this one. And I thought it turned out super cute. Like this, I filled it with some Santa hat chocolates, which these are from last year, y'all. I cannot find any Christmas yet. So I'm really looking forward for some Christmas new candy because you know I'm always going to be creating with them. But July's a lot so early for that but you know my eyes are always out for that so I'm also using a new bundle I absolutely love this bundle it is so cute look at this candy cane it is called sweet candy canes I actually got the whole sweet in this because it's so so cute I am using the sentiment from this that says candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses you, you can use Christmas cheer and these are the dies that go with it and it has this gorgeous die that you can use for a background. And it has this one. Oh, I cut one. Cuts like this. And you can actually, I'll probably share a video on this. You can actually put a candy cane through this and decorate it. And I probably will on my quick and easy day do that in the future. Because like I said, I can't get candy canes like that yet. And then it has all the pieces to cut out your candy canes. And I pulled out all the other pieces that we are using for this. I'm also using our stylish shapes just for the sentiment. All right. So the ones that I am using for the curve and stuff of this is this basic borders y'all I, I told you when I got these they would be used for a lot I'm using I use them for a ton of different things if you don't have these grab them because they're so good I love these if they do away with these I will be so sad all right so this is what we are making first thing we're going to do is we are going to stamp and cut out with the big shot our pieces that we need and then we will make the box. I'm going to tell you the measurements for everything for the box first because once we get there, I may forget, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> and then this is real red. It's five and a half by eight and a half. So that's what you need for the box. You need a piece to mat it at four and a quarter by three and a quarter and another one at two and three quarters by three and a quarter. And then two more at seven eighths by three and one quarter. I'm using the same designer series paper, just a different pattern. And of course, I'm going to use the Sweetest Christmas, which is the one that coordinates with this. But look at, you can cut these out actually as well. If you wanna make it super easy, you can cut these out with the dies that they give you. But look at these patterns, y'all. It's so, so good. I love this. It's perfect for Christmas crafting. There's all different patterns in here. This is the one that I used for the first box. All right, so that is what we're using. Don't worry about the measurements. Everything will be in my inspiration sheet. You can find it on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. 
um, and that's where you can download it, print it, and do whatever you like with it. All right, let's get started with this. So I am going to use a piece of, this is thick basic white. I basically pretty much always buy the thick because I use it so much for boxes and stuff that it just makes sense to me just to buy the thick. But I do, I do have both, but I mostly use the thick. I'm going to use uh, Garden Green and Real Red because those are the colors in this designer series paper. And we are going to ink up the candy cane. And stamp that. And then, and I love the look of this. It's not a solid. It's more, it's hard to explain. It's got a texture to it, but it's really pretty. And then I'm going to use the Garden Green. And we're going to cut two of these leaves. And then I'm going to do the sentiment. And we're going to use the stylus shape to cut out that with the circle. Alright, so I am going to take this to the cut and emboss because you've seen me run things through a million times. I'm going to do that and then I will be right back with the pieces we will be using for this. Okay, so what I love about this is it's got two leaves that we can cut out with this at the same time. I love that. It just saves so much time not having to run something through twice. So here's our candy cane, our little sentiment, and our leaves. And we will need to bring the cut and emboss so I can show you how to make the box. But we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Alright, so what we're going to do first is we are going to score this. And it's, it's really easy, y'all. It's a lot easier than you would think. But on the 8.5 inch side, you're going to score at 3 and 4. And then you're going to turn it, and you're going to score it on the five and a half inch side at one and four and a half. And that's it. We are going to mat this first before we do anything to it. So this larger side, this is going to be our mat. So I'm going to just use my seal for this, my stamp and seal. And then you are not going to, the sides I'm going to do after, and we are going to kind of flip this one because this is the one that's going to be our front here. So you are going to mat that front there. So let's go ahead and add our stamp and seal here. And the sides, like I said, will mat after. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to just go ahead and cut this. This is all you're going to need to cut are these side pieces. So we're just cutting into those to that score mark. is it for that. Now I need to bring the cut and emboss up here. And we are going to be cutting this. Now the first cut you're going to make is going to be this top piece right here. And you are going to just line this up. I'll move this out of the way so you can see that. Just line it up right to the edge up here. And you're just going to cut that. Make sure your die is inside this area of your plates because you can ruin your die. So make sure it's inside there and then run that through. All right, this one's a little harder to run through because we are running it through straight. And there are some thing about that, that when you run dies straight through like that 
especially like squared eyes. Um, I don't know. There's, there's some explanation why it's harder to run through. I'm not a scientist or I don't know anything about that stuff. So I can't tell you what it was. All right. So now this piece, we're turning it over and we're going to do this one. And this one, I just like to run it through from like this corner to corner. And then just put that down. We're going to do the same thing. All right. That is all we're doing on this, y'all. Now we're going to put it together. All right, so all you have to do is fold these in. Let's sharpen our score marks. Make sure it's nice and square. And, whoops, didn't do that one. We are going to put adhesive on these two sides. I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus for this. Use a strong adhesive. And then you're just pulling these sides up. Like that. Now you don't even have to mat the sides if you don't want, but can you see the resemblance of that and then um, the reason I did because that shows but it doesn't look bad it's stitched so it doesn't look bad if you don't want to mat it but I'm gonna go ahead and mat it but the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna set this here and I am just gonna cut this at an angle here just like that and then I'm gonna take my other one which is gonna go the opposite way so you want to turn that over and then you can just clip that as well. And then you're ready to put them on. And you can do whatever side you want to put on the sides. I like the stripe, so that's why. All right, so there you go. Now we're gonna just decorate it. And I love this part. This is my favorite part, y'all, you know. I love doing this. I'm gonna just add some stamp and seal here. And I may move this a little bit. I'm just gonna set it down just to give me an idea. I won't press it down yet. And then we are gonna add our little leaves here. I'm gonna use wet glue for this part. And add our leaves. And then I'm going to use, again, my ribbon, and this is a combo pack. It's the Real Red and Garden Green 3 8 inch ribbon combo pack. I'm going to use the Real Red for this. I actually use the Garden Green for the cellophane bag that I put my candy in. And we're just going to make a bow. This ribbon, I love this ribbon. It ties so beautiful. And we'll cut these shorter. And then I'm going to use a glue dot to glue it onto our, in fact, I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter here. Grab my glue dots here. And we're going to add it to our candy cane. Just like that. And then we're going to put it on here. I think I'm really good with this position on this one. And then I'm just gluing it um, with dimensionals. Put 
and you're going to put it right on here like that. Super easy, really fun to do. There you go, there's both of them. Aren't they cute? You can fit any kind of candy in here. You can see it'll fit a bunch of candy. It is four and a quarter tall by three and a half wide. So you can put candy bars in here, all kinds of things for the holidays. I really liked putting it in the bag because you know they're smaller candies and it'd be cute to put it in the bag. But wouldn't they be these be really cute for a classroom or for like a nursing home or just for a friend, co-workers. I really love these. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any supplies, you can shop right from my blog at stampingwiththemore.com. Have a blessed one, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.